Welcome to the Nokia Optical Networking Learning Essentials video series from the Nokia Optical Network Certification Program, an end-to-end -end learning program supporting Nokia 1830, PSS, VWM, and NFMT-based networks. In this video, we'll look at troubleshooting a trail using the Wavelength Tracker tool. This video has been created based on the Nokia Optical Networking Fundamentals course. Today, I'll provide an overview of the Wavelength Tracker feature to demonstrate how it can enhance troubleshooting operations to achieve fast resolution timeframes. We'll see that the Wavelength Tracker uses unique wave keys to mark every service within the 1830 domain to enforce fault isolation by providing troubleshooting skills such as Optical Spectrum Analyzer and, in general, by allowing a real-time comparison against the network design parameters. The 1830 PSS portfolio has been designed with the unique capability to deeply trace every wavelength passing through the 1830 domain. The feature works by encoding a univocal identifier consisting of a pair of numbers, known as wave keys, into the service wavelength at the transponder's transmitter. Then, at various detection points in the network, the wavelength tracker detects the wave keys assigned to a specific service wavelength. The Wavelength Tracker works best for tracing the end-to-end -end wavelength path, distinguishing each from all other wavelengths. Managing Optical Power As optical power levels are continuously calculated for critical points in the system through specific algorithms. Fault Isolation So that whenever a wavelength falls outside its optical power expected range, the impacted component is alarmed. The system collects all optical power values in a table or graph where the measured values from each detection point are compared with the expected values, provided by design. The output shows every crossed wavelength tracker supporting board along the service wavelength. The displayed data is per service and direction. That is, for each service, two wavelength tracked series of data can be retrieved for both directions. This way, the operator can easily localize and fix a faulty connection. Another interesting graphical application of the Wavelength Tracker is the Power Summary View that works like a real optical spectrum analyzer, so the user can analyze the wavelengths passing through a board and their related optical power levels without going to the field with monitoring equipment. Here, we have a simple three-network element diagram connected in a ring topology where optical transponders and amplification stages are enhanced with the Wavelength Tracker capability. To demonstrate how the Wavelength Tracker capability works, a failure has been created manually through a one-way fiber break. The graphical user interface will help us localize all the objects that we need to troubleshoot. Let's start by looking for active alarms, to have an initial idea about the issue to be detected. We can retrieve the current alarm list from each of the involved network elements using the web-based user interface. Some critical alarms are reported. Outgoing loss of signal and incoming payload LOS alarms are raised against the optical amplifier in network element 1. The same critical alarms are also present on network elements 2 and 3. To have a clearer view of the issue indicated by the alarms, let's go through the wavelength tracker. We can retrieve the optical power data to trace all measurements along the service route. Click on the OCH cross connects item under the connections menu. Select one of the available cross connections. Click the A to Z trace button on the bottom of the display panel to get the network power trace tabular view. Going across the table, we can see that no optical power has been detected between the SIG interface of the WR8 card and the line in interface of the optical amplifier in slot 3. Furthermore, all detection points after this specific point are not measuring any optical power. This seems to be a good confirmation that the power is occurring in that specific fiber connection. The same can be noticed by using the A to Z power button, where colored bars help in our troubleshooting process. The data is the same, but the representation could be more user-friendly. Let's quickly check the reverse direction of the service, to understand whether the problem is unidirectional or bidirectional. We can see that all the detection points are correctly tracing optical power in the opposite direction, and therefore, the problem is affecting one fiber jumper only, or in other words, one direction only, A to Z. Now that the issue has been located, we can ask the field engineer to fix the issue. Then, let's check the wavelength tracker data again to ensure that the fiber cut has been fixed. Let's do this through the graphical view. 
Finally, all the wavelength tracker detection points are retrieving optical power within the expected ranges in both directions and, as expected, no alarms are reported on the involved network elements. Let's now summarize what we have seen in this video. The Wavelength Tracker is a powerful tool to troubleshoot 1830 PSS networks. It relies on the concept of wave keys, a unique pair of numbers associated with each service wavelength and specifically with each direction of each service. Multiple Wavelength Tracker detection points are embedded in many 1830 PSS optical modules to measure the optical power and compare it with the expected ranges by design. Consequently, Wavelength Tracker can improve the troubleshooting process and effectively localize a failure. It can then raise alarms when the optical power levels are out of range, providing a proactive approach in detecting possible imminent network failures. Thanks for watching and look for more videos in our Optical Networking Learning Essentials series. Whether your goal is to enhance your optical networking skills or demonstrate your expertise through one of our four industry recognized certifications, the Optical Network Certification Program is here to get you, your career, and your organization on the right path. Our program features nine instructor-led courses developed by our team of subject matter experts using industry best practices, use case-driven examples, and hands-on labs. Learn more and get started today by visiting our website. Thank you.